Mom's Mom. Today, we're going to explore density and buoyancy. Buoyancy, 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 buoyancy. <gasps> that is so much fun to say. But those big words simply mean if something will float, which is buoyancy, or sink, which is density, when we put them in water. So the first thing we have to do is fill up our backpack with, well, stuff that we can put in water to see if it'll float or sink. Then we're gonna head back to the science lab to get our answers. Are you ready? Grab your adventure hats, explorers. It's time to go. T-Rex, oh, T-Rex is my favorite dinosaur. What's your favorite dinosaur? And then we also have some building blocks. We have blue and pink, red, purple, and yellow. I didn't even know that dinosaurs like to play with building blocks. Well, I think we should put them in our backpack and take them back with us to see if they'll float or sink when we put them in water. Okay, so do you think there's anything else around here that we can take back with us? Oh, hey, look! There's some rocks and sticks. Yeah, I mean, they're not as colorful as the building blocks we just found, but I think it'll still be interesting to see if they'll float or sink. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have so much here. Uh, oh, look. Oh, we have a giant stick. Ugh, giant stick. But I don't think that's gonna fit in our backpack. And we have a big stick and some medium-sized sticks. Oh, and hey, look a little tiny twig. Oh, I say we're definitely gonna take the big stick with us. And yeah, I say we take the littlest stick as well. And then we also have some rocks. We have big rocks and little rocks. Oh, hey, look, this rock has a heart on it. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> That's really brightened my day. Okay, well let's take, let's take this rock back with us and some small rocks. And we'll take the painted rock with us as well. But when we're done with it, we'll bring it back for somebody else to find to help brighten their day, all right? Big stick. is making me hungry. Oh, I sure hope we have some snacks in our backpack. Oh, there's our stick. Oh, hey, look, we have apples. Mmm, tasty. And, ooh, a snack cup with dinosaur crackers. Those are my favorite. And, hey, we have a lemon and a lime. That's weird. Why would you eat a lemon and a lime for a snack? Those are so sour. <gasps> let's put those back. And let's have a snack. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, do you think? What, what do you think will happen with the apple? If we put it in water, is it gonna float or is it gonna sink? 
Well, we have two, so let's take one back with us and we'll eat this one for a snack. Yeah! Okay, now that we've had a snack, let's see if we can find some more stuff. Are you ready? Let's go. a red rubber ball, a tennis ball, oh, oops, a yellow softball, and we found three golf balls that are painted like different kinds of balls. Baseball, a basketball, and a soccer ball. Huh. Well, let's put them in the backpack. And the one we dropped, of course. <laughs> All right, explorers. Well, our backpack is getting pretty full and heavy. What? You see something? Where? <gasps> Let's find out what's inside. Great eyes, explorers. I would have completely missed him if you didn't point him out. Oh. Okay, so we have two bags. One, two, and this bag has modeling clay in it. Oh. That'll be fun. We have blue, orange, purple, and green. <laughs> I'm excited to play with the modeling clay. You can make so many cool things with it. Yeah. And then, <gasps> this bag, it's full of gumballs. <gasps> I love gumballs. <laughs> The pink ones are my favorite. Oh, so tasty. Okay, well, let's put these in the backpack as well. Okay, well, I think we have enough stuff in our backpack. So let's go back to the science lab and put it all in water to see if it'll float or sink. Are you ready? Let's go. That was far. All right, explorers, we're back in the science lab. And look, we have a tank of water. This water is going to help us answer the question on whether or not the items we put in our backpack are going to float or sink. So let's start by clearing the table and we'll empty out our backpack. Oh, there's that stick we found. Ah, there's the big stick. And the little stick. Oh, and the modeling clay. That's fun. And some gumballs. Wow, we found so much stuff. Well, let's just let's just dump it out. everything? No! Yep, it's empty. OK, 
Okay, wow, my goodness. Look at all the stuff we found. Okay, let's start with, yeah, the dinosaurs. Remember we found two dinosaurs? The raptor, wow. And my favorite dinosaur, the T-Rex. So all we have to do now is plop them in the water and see if they float or if they sink to the bottom. Let's count to three. Ready? One, two, three. they were both gonna sink to the bottom, but the raptor is floating on top, whoop, and the T-Rex went straight to the bottom. I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, um, let's do the blocks next. We have a blue block, a yellow block, pink block, red block, and a purple block. I don't think that the color of the block matters, but, well, let's put them all in the water at the same time, just in case, okay? Oh, they all float. So the color of the block doesn't matter, but, what do you think will happen if we fill them with water? Do you think they'll sink then? <laughs> nope, they still float, just like the raptor. <laughs> okay, what next? Let's do, oh yeah, let's do the rocks. We had the big rock and small rocks Oh, and then our painted rock. Hey, if you're ever out and you find rocks that are painted, or if you paint rocks and you leave them for somebody else to help brighten their day, take a picture and post it on Instagram. Tag us in it as Official Explorer. I would really love to see what you find and what you leave for others. Okay, so let's start with the big rock. I think it's gonna go to the bottom. Are you ready? <laughs> yep, straight to the bottom. Now let's try the small rocks. What do you think, float or sink? Yeah, I think they're gonna sink too. Let's find out. Oh, splashing. <laughs> yep, you were right. They go straight to the bottom. Okay, what about, what about the sticks that we found? The big stick and the little tiny twig. Whoop, we got a roll away ball. Let's put the tiny twig in first. I think that, the, that both of the sticks are going to float. Ready? Yep, the little one floats. What about the big one? Yeah, that one floats too. Great job, explorers. All right, explorers, we've emptied out our tank so that we have more room for the rest of our stuff. Yeah. Okay, so next let's put in the balls. Yeah, we have a tennis ball, a softball, a red rubber ball, and it's spiky. And oh yeah, our funny little golf balls. <laughs> All right, well let's put them in one at a time and make a guess to what's gonna happen. Let's start with a tennis ball. It floats. All right, well, what about the red rubber ball? Oh, that 
one floats too. All right, okay. Let's do the big yellow softball. What do you think? Float or sink? Yeah, I think it's gonna float too. Are you ready? Oh, <laughs> it floats and makes a big splash. <laughs> okay, so we have our three golf balls left. So the golf balls are a lot smaller than the rest of the balls. So do you think that means that they're also gonna float? Or do you think they're gonna sink to the bottom? I think, I think they're gonna float, but I guess we'll have to find out. Are you ready? Let's count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> nope. <laughs> they sink. Oh, wow, that's really cool. So even though our really big softball and red rubber ball and tennis ball all float, our little tiny golf balls sink. Oh, <laughs> all right. So next let's do, oh yeah, what about the modeling clay? Let's put the purple modeling clay in and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> it's um a little bit rubbery. Okay, modeling clay up next. Here it goes. <laughs> it doesn't float at all. Right to the bottom it goes. Huh. Okay, well, what about the gumballs that we found? Mmm. Oh, I love gumballs. Okay, let's toss them in the water and see what happens. Oh! <laughs> well, that's interesting. All of our small items are sinking to the bottom, but then our bigger items are floating on top. Huh. Okay, well, um, what about the snack cup? Uh, well, it used to have dinosaur crackers in it, but um, I kind of ate them all. Oh well, let's put it in. <laughs> it floats too. Let's fill it with water and see if we can get it to sink. <laughs> nope. It still floats. <laughs> okay, well, oh, what about the apple? Yeah, have you ever been bobbing for apples when all of the apples float on top of the water and you have to plunge your head in and try to grab them? Oh, that is so much fun. All right, well, let's put the apple in. I, I think this one is gonna float. Do you agree? Okay, let's find out. It does! Okay, so, so far, all of our big items are floating and our small items are sinking. Huh, okay, well, what about the lemon and the lime? I think because the apple floats, that the lemon and the lime should float as well. Let's find out. <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> Do you see that? The lime is kind of floating, but... It's taking a really long time to rise to the top. That's really strange, but the lemon floats and it looks like the lime floats too. 
Is it gonna come back up? <laughs> All right, so the lemon floats and the lime um, sort of floats. Yeah. <laughs> well, that looks like it's all of our items. Huh. <gasps> Wait a minute. I have an idea. Okay, so we know that the modeling clay and the gumballs went to the bottom. But what would happen if we built a boat with the modeling clay and put the gumballs inside. Do you think it would still sink to the bottom? There is only one way to find out. Let's build an orange boat. Yeah. Oh, it kind of looks like cheese. So modeling clay is not soft like Play-Doh. You really kind of have to work it with your hands to make it to any shape. Okay, do you think that's big enough? Yeah? All right, let's shape it into a boat. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm a very good uh, ship builder, but <laughs> I think it might work. All right. So we have a boat. Well, kind of a boat. We'll have to work on that. Okay, so let's put it in the water and see if it'll float or sink. Any guesses? <sighs> okay, little boat. I really hope that you float. Ready? <gasps> we did it! It's floating! <gasps> okay, let's add some gumballs. <gasps> okay. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we've added five gumballs and it's still floating. That is so cool. <laughs> oh. Oops, I got water in the boat went to the bottom. Oh well. Well, that's the end of this video. If you want to watch more of our videos and continue exploring, hit the big red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I would love to know what you find that can float or sink and surprises that you have about what does float and what will actually sink to the bottom. All right, explorers, until next time, bye.